for the cheapest coins on the internet right now head on over to mutt coin bank guys you can get a million coins for 40 bucks with tax covered instant delivery you will get 24 7 customer support and of course if you guys do use code poodle you'll get 10 percent off and your ea tax covered what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over my madden 22 wish list guys and this includes a lot of things we'll include some franchise stuff as well some overall game stuff but for the most part we'll be ultimate team based now guys i know i've been off for like a week i know i haven't been around guys there's been a, there's been a reason so i did get a reason i got a surgery pretty recently and it wasn't something it was like major you know but it still required like you know the whole anesthesia the whole hospital stuff now it wasn't like a major surgery like i said but it did put me out of commission for some time very hard to get out of bed and you know sit in the chair i could because it was on my groin so i couldn't really sit in the chair uh, for a while so i've been just kind of laying in bed you know laying on my stomach doing stuff like that so being in a chair and recording and editing and doing all that stuff which just wasn't exactly ideal played some mlb played some madden you know but i had to play from the bed not something again i could really record and do without my setup but um yeah that's about it just wanted to get through that now moving on guys before you get into the video make sure to hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and now let's get into the wish list guys also if you need coins head on down below to, uh, down below to my coin bank great prices for the kids late in the year guys you can get some great prices on coins make sure you use my uh, code you get your tax covered you get a discount and you get some extra coins take advantage now moving on my wish list first things first guys on the wish list for me is going to have to be i want to see thresholds revamped okay i think thresholds need to be revamped because the way thresholds work i in my opinion are super super stupid and i i understand why they have them but i think they need to be revamped right so for instance right you go to a guy like let's say who, who's a good who's a good um who's a good guy to see so let's say ed reed right Ed Reed has 99 man, and let's say he'll get 99 speed. Because he does not get 99 man, his man is the same as a guy with a 97. A guy with a 98 man coverage will be the same as Ed Reed, as long as they don't get 99, right? Like calculus the thresholds. Now I'm a big, I'm a big, I'm a big um person against thresholds for this reason. Back in Madden like 13, so now, I think there's always been thresholds in some aspect. But there was a time when you could literally like there was a card who had a 90 trucking and then there was a card with a 92 uh, 93 trucking but one less speed and you would sell that one less speed guy for the guy with the plus three truck because it, it felt like his truck was increased enough to where it was worthwhile right nowadays you don't do that you go with the guy with the fastest speed because they're both gonna have above 90 trucking and if they both have above 90 trucking that means they're both within thresholds to get high tier truck animations right now i don't believe in that i believe that there should be a probability a distribution where it like Literally, a 91 truck is 1% more likely to be more effective because you need to be able to weigh the differences, right? It shouldn't be something, it shouldn't, it's so cut and dry this year. Do they get 90 man in zone? Cool. Who's faster? Do they get 99 man in zone? Cool. Who's faster? It's always like that because all you have to care about is the thresholds. Now, I want to, I want to see thresholds. They can still be there. 90 can unlock the high tier, you know, zone jump breaks and stuff. But if you have a 97 or 98 zone or even a 91 or 92 zone, you are a better zone guy. So I can justify getting a guy who's one less speed but has eight plus zone. Because this year, you'll take a guy who's one plus one speed with nine less zone or eight less zone as long as it's in the 90, right? And that's kind of annoying in my opinion. I don't think that's a thing to do. Same thing with quarterbacks. Quarterbacks like, so Derek Carr, let's say, because he has a 96 medium, he doesn't need 99, right? He has the He's above 95. He gets the threshold. He gets the abilities. But then there's guys like Dan Marino, let's say, who gets 99 short, 99 medium, 99 deep without camps. You'll never take Dan Marino because Derek Carr is slightly faster. So why? Well, no, Derek Carr's fast. So why would you take a why would you take a pocket passer who can't move if you don't have to? Because they Derek Carr and Dan Marino can throw identical because once you chem them up and everything, they'll both be in the same thresholds, right? So literally, people have taken quarterbacks with bare 95s with 86 speeds over a guy who has 99, like Brady, who has across the board. This will make the game way more interesting in terms of how we pick our teams. Because when you go online, you see the same quarterback, the same running back, same wide receivers, the same safety. If they made it so thresholds were only for the animations and like certain things, but the actual rating is what affects like it was more rating based. So like if you have a 95, um, if you have a 95 juke, or let's say like let's say you have a 95 spec catch, right? But the, the animation to 90, so you'll get those crazy spec catch animations. But you're five percent more likely from a 90 to a 95 or something to come down with it, and you can consistently see that. Like, because I remember back in Madden 13, like you saw that. Like when you went Eric Dickerson with the crazy trucking, and you let him do what he did, he had a slightly better truck than Emmett Smith, and you could see the trucking better, or the, with the strength and the height and the weight. So if they can make it so you can actually physically see the differences in stats for players who actually go ahead and have higher stats within a threshold rating, I could see it being. You can go online. I could see more Brady's. 
more Dan Marinos because people are going to be like, why go with the mobile guy when he's not missing, he's missing throws more. I'd rather go with the guy with the maxed out throwing stats. That's why back in Madden 13, you saw a lot of Joe Montana's, you saw a lot of Brady's, you saw a lot of Dan Marinos, um, Eli Manning, Peyton Manning. Now, another thing is, same thing with wide receivers, but I'm not going to get into this too much because, again, I've already killed enough time in the video, but that's a one big aspect going to be threshold. I think threshold needs to be revamped. Next, going to be overalls. I think it's time to go back into the 100 rating stats for one simple reason, guys. Madden's going to be, Madden's dying. Why is Madden dying right now? Because at this point in the year, everyone's 99. And not even not to mention, guys, back in like January and February, we could already 10 players up to like 97, 98 with 99 speed. A few players. By mid-March, you already have every player can pretty much get 99 speed that you that you put on your team. You'll find at least one in each position that can get close enough to it. So they need to do above 100 stats. Because guess what? When If we can get 97s because of powering up and coming up and sprinter, if we can get 97 to 99 in, in, in theory... Um, when 99s come out, no one really gives a crap. What, it's literally more hype to like when players are coming out 97, 98 that get up to 99 than it is when we actually get the 99s. Like right now, we're getting all these 99s, and it's like, oh, they're, they're cool, right? Like, whatever. It was more hype when we were getting close to 99. So they need to bring back 100 stats. For instance, right? You go to a guy who has 99 speed. Let's see, uh, let's see who would be a good example here. Ezekiel Elliott. Um, I guess so. So Ezekiel Elliott, right? Running back, he'll get 99 speed. He'll get all the max stats, right? So that's fine. That's fine, right? You see him, like, he's a, he's, a, he's an example of a car that gets 99 speed. Let's say Jalen Waddle. What does he have? 99 speed. Jalen Waddle has 99 speed. But so does Zeke, and so does Julio, and so does Steve Large, and so does every other wide receiver in the game right now because they can all be sprintered and powered up and chemmed up. So what it should be like, you could put sprinter on Jalen Waddle, and he now has 101 speed. Like it used to be back in the day. They should get above 100 staff. Now, not going crazy, not like MLB with 115 power. You know, you don't want to go overboard, but there should be a difference. Like, w they need to make a difference. Because of they added powering up and coming up, they made it so pretty much 90 staff. Any, any player can go overall or two above their initial stats. So, pretty much by dropping 97 to 98, you get them up to 99. Then you drop 99s that are already playing like 97, 98. So, you're not differentiating. And because of threshold, it gets even worse, right? So at least you, you can make the you can make the appeal. Okay, yes, Waddle and the 98 or 97 Julio, let's say, has 99 speed, but Waddle is a better deep route runner slightly. He has one better jumping, he has one better catch traffic, right? You can be like, okay, so that's the difference, right? Waddle uh, has plus one better catching, plus one better deep route running, and plus two juke. Minuscule stats, but back in Madden 13, I would have sold Julio for him just for that plus ones. Nowadays, it's like, oh no, but they, but the deep route running, they both have the, the 90 threshold and the catching traffic is both going to be above 90, so it's catching. So why sell them? Save your coins. They're the same. If they go ahead and add 100 stats and they make it so the thresholds are gone with more differential, you'll go ahead and be like, okay, I'll take Waddle because Waddle gets 101 speed. And now in the field, he'll feel different. He'll feel faster than 99 speed, guys. And that keeps the game going because now you want to get safeties who are above 100 speed, right? Now, they could cap it so the max above uh, 100 are going to go to like 103 so that you can pick your chems accordingly, uh, you know, and stuff. That would be, you know, strategic. But I remember the days when you can get 90, it would be like 100 catching, 101 catching, golden tickets. Golden tickets were known for being boosted above 100 stats. Because, again, golden tickets aren't that different, right? You look at Zeke, you look at A.J. Brown, it's like, oh, 99 golden ticket A.J. Brown is a special card. 96 speed, doesn't get 99 uh, speed. This doesn't, that card's not special. Like, the golden tickets were always supposed to be the most special, unobtainable cards that literally broke the game, right? Golden tickets should have 101 stats. They should have the 100 speed. They should have, they should be the cards that are different, not just, they shouldn't be golden versions of regular cards, right? That they got to fix for next year. I think they tried to make golden tickets. I think they were thinking the game was dying. So I think their theory was let's make golden tickets easier to obtain and less, uh, you know, godly and people will partake in them more. I and mean, that may have been true, may have not been true, not entirely sure. I guess it's on their end to see the analytics of how many people participated on and off, you know, the screen. But that's what another big thing, guys. Um, those are my biggest things for ultimately going to be thresholds, and it's going to be overalls. Now, a few other things that I think is important is going to be a more a better ranked seasons, guys. The seasons awards are absolute dog crap. Like, you don't you shouldn't have to play weekend league. You should want to play ranked seasons, right? That's like your relaxed. You can play whenever, right? Because weekend league is only the weekend. Ranked seasons, like you can log in at 7 a.m. before school, play a game. Log in at 3 p.m. after school, play a game. Going after work at six, play a game. Going after dinner. But when you're an adult or you're a kid with school or you're in college, you're too young and you can't play. Your parents let you play during the weekend, only during the weekends. You log in. First off, people don't like to play ranked seasons because it's just, it's, there's no good reward. So pretty much you wait all week to not, you don't play Madden all week because you just, ranked seasons isn't worth it. You get to weekend league, you have no practice now, unless you're a try, unless you're like a guy who tries hard and you're competitive, but not everyone's like that. You have no practice. 
you didn't get all the free coins all week from ranked seasons by playing slowly and you're grinding you didn't get the xp also all you're playing is that one mode so that keeps people off the game so you're only logging in on weekends sometimes right so that, that hurts the game in general and keeps all you know like user interactions like all off the grid as well but i think it should be like mlb where you know there's free players that are only obtainable through certain challenges. They should do a ranked season, like Team Affinity. Like, they should do ranked seasons with Team Affinity like that in here. Where it's like, if you play through, if you play through uh, season, guys, and you get to, like, Pro Level 3, and you you win it, there's a pack at the end of Pro 3 Division that, um, you're not Super Bowl, maybe just make players as a pack, and it's like a, it's like a diamond pack, right? Which for here would be an elite pack. It's an elite pack with three Nats. Well, let's say the first week of the game. There'll be, like, 386 overall Nats. There'll be a Nat, um, Cameron Jordan, Affinity, a Nat, Miles Garrett, Affinity. They're 86s, and, like, a Nat Ezekiel Elliott. When you get there, you're able to, everyone can take it, one person from that pack. It's Nat, and you can only get it through there. So it's not going to be like, oh, you can just buy it on the block, because I don't like when they do that either. No, it will be a specific card you can only get through there. And, yeah, a lot of people will have it, but you're trying to build your team up. Who, get, who gives a crap, right? I think it's important to add better rewards. Like, give us objective-based rewards. Like, yes, they, people, like, want to say they gave us a lot of content this year. That is true, but this Madden was horrible in terms of intera interactiveness, right? Yes, you can give me cards. They just gave me all these golden tickets, and no one gives a crap. Why? Because they want to have a game mode called Golden Mania, where you go ahead and play with... You go play, um, like, a 3v3 college-style game with the golden tickets, and you play for them, and, you, and if you get through them, you're able to develop one, you know, do an evolution golden ticket. Or you get an evolution egg golden ticket that you can you can um, add add things to to build it up to get a, a nat golden ticket. Like, something cool to do, not just... Play these solos, get golden ticket. No, give us something interesting. Give us something to think about. Something that's fun to do. Like MLB, I genuinely enjoy playing the missions and playing roads to the show and doing stuff to get my guy up and doing like you know what I mean. Give us something to be more interactive with. Now, those are my wishes for this. Um, in terms of franchise guys, I mean, I think I covered enough of the gold. You know, if they could fix those things, guys, I'll be so happy with the game. I think it'll be great. I mean, gameplay wise, it is. I'm not gonna complain about that because I'm I'm not a dev. I don't understand how it works behind the scenes. I know they're doing what they need to be done. So you know, I'll, I'll let that be. Now, from franchise standpoint, real quick. You got to add more stuff to the menus, add more stuff to the, the presentation, because honestly, guys, it has literally been the same thing since Madden 13. Like, no joke, it has barely changed. They need to add a better draft, because I'm tired of sitting there, and you can only see the one pick before you. You can't see the draft board. You can't see your draft stats. Um, you know, the, you can barely draft trade properly. I think they need to fix all that. They need to revamp franchise. Uh, add like a scrimmage mode to franchise so you can play people within your league you know to scrimmage in between like in between games and stuff which i think will be super cool as well there's a lot of things you can add to franchise but that that, that those are my key points are pretty much covered guys that's about it for the video if you guys have any other points comment them down below again sorry for the absence but let me know down below guys what you think thank you so much for watching if you guys have any points head over to my coin bank use code Peter. thank you for watching I'm out. Peace.